1300 hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The foreign minister has introduced FM Connect digital platform to host roundtable discussions with thought leaders to address COVID-19 pandemic. The information minister says gradual easing of the lockdown shows the government's approach of compassion for the weaker segments of the society. 35 deaths due to coronavirus have been reported in the country, while the death toll across the world has risen to over 270,740. The United Nations has launched an updated COVID-19 global humanitarian response plan to help fragile countries, including Pakistan. In India, 14 migrant workers were killed when a freight train ran over them in Maharashtra state today. And now the news in detail. The Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has introduced FM Connect Digital, the Thought Leader series for a multi for a multi-stakeholder global perspective and approach to address COVID-19 pandemic. The FM Connect Thought Leader platform will see the Foreign Minister hosting a diversity of roundtable digital discussions with intellectuals, writers, academics, thinkers and researchers across the globe. FM Connect is part of the Foreign Minister's Public Diplomacy Initiative. The Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Shibli Faraz, has said people's cooperation is required for the success of lifting of the lockdown. In a tweet, he said standard operating procedures for various businesses will have to be implemented strictly. He said we will have to impose the lockdown again if precautionary measures are not observed. He said coronavirus pandemic is a common issue which can be faced with unity. The minister said gradual easing of the lockdown shows the government's approach of compassion for the weaker segments of the society. He said this will also help support small businesses in the country. He said a long-term lockdown could ruin employment of people involved in small businesses. He said economic activities and people's health should go side by side. 35 deaths due to coronavirus and 1,764 new confirmed cases have been reported in the country during the last 24 hours. The total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the country have soared to 25,837. Of these, 9,093 were reported in the Sindh province, 10,033 in the Punjab, 3,956 in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, 1,725 in Balochistan, 558 in the Islamabad capital territory, 394 in Gilgit Baltistan and 78 in Azad Kashmir. Over 7,500 patients have recovered from the virus so far. The death toll from coronavirus across the world has risen to over 270,748, while 3,917,944 cases have been reported globally. Of these, 1,344,260 have so far recovered from the infection. The United States has the highest number of total deaths, with 76,938. Britain now has the second highest toll with 30,615, Italy with 29,958, Spain 26,070, and France 25,987 deaths. The federal government has announced partial lifting of countrywide lockdown from tomorrow to allow economic activity with strict adherence to precautionary measures by the people. Prime Minister Imran Khan announced this in a televised briefing following the meeting of the National Coordination Committee on COVID-19 in Islamabad. The Prime Minister said the decision has been taken in consultation with all the provinces just to facilitate the daily wages at small businesses. However, the success of this phase is linked to public cooperation and discipline. Imran Khan also repeatedly advised the people to take all precautions at their workplaces and elsewhere to ensure their own protection and avert any sudden spike in the coronavirus cases. 
Prime Minister Imran Khan has felicitated his Iraqi counterpart Mustafa al Khadimi on his assumption of office as the Prime Minister of Iraq. Imran Khan expressed the confidence that under Prime Minister al Khadimi's leadership, the goals for reforms, national unity and development in Iraq would be further advanced. The United Nations has launched an updated COVID-19 Global Humanitarian Response Plan that requires $6.69 billion to help fragile countries, including Pakistan, to cope with the pandemic. The fund requirement of the original response plan, which was launched on March 25th, was $2 billion. Speaking at a virtual event, the United Nations Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, Mark Lowcock, said urgent action is needed to help the most vulnerable countries. He warned that the first peak of COVID-19 is expected in many of the poorest countries in the next three to six months. In India, 14 migrant workers were killed when a freight train ran over them in Maharashtra today. According to the Indian Railway Ministry, a group of migrant workers returning to their home villages were sleeping on the track. Tens of thousands of people have been walking home from India's big cities after losing their jobs because of the lockdown related to coronavirus. In Iran, two people were killed and 22 injured when an earthquake of 5.1 magnitude struck Tehran and Mazandaran provinces today. According to the Iranian state media, most of the people received injuries while trying to flee their homes in panic. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.